Hello everyone, welcome to Think Computer YouTube channel. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for your support. We have reached 4000 subscribers. This could not have been possible without you all. Today, I am happy to announce that I am going to start a new series on video editing. I will be using OpenShot video editor for my explanations. There are many paid softwares available in the market for video editing which of course you can purchase and use but I am going to use this software because it is open source software and available free of cost. So you can just open your web browser and type in the URL box openshot.org. It will redirect you to the website and from here you can download the software according to your operating system. This software is available for windows it works in windows 7 8 or 10 you can also download it for linux or chrome os or if you have mac os so i'm going to download for the windows after the software has been downloaded install the software in your computer Okay, let us start with the basics first. So this is the main screen, the main interface of the software. Okay. The bottom part, this is called the timeline. As you are doing video editing, you will be placing images or video clips or music files, audio files onto the timeline. Okay. This is the timeline. The timeline has multiple tracks. Right now we can see there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five tracks. But you can always add more tracks by clicking on the plus icon here. Now we have track 6, track 7. So basically tracks are used, you know, to place multiple objects onto the timeline. Okay, you must have seen in the videos that video is playing at the background, music is there and some uh, pop-up messages are coming, some text are being displayed. So that is done using the tracks only. Okay. Next, uh, we have the video preview, this part. Okay, this is the video player. All the playback controls are given here. Using this slider, you can move the timeline. Okay, you can go to the beginning of the playback or at the end. On top of the timeline, you will find the timing is mentioned. Okay, the timing for the clip. Then you have the option to import files. As you import files in the project, then only you can do the editing. Okay. So this is your uh, project file area. In the beginning, it is blank. Okay. Let us start with some sample files first. So I will be going to the file and I will be clicking on the import file option. The same thing can also be done from here. Import file option is present. I have kept all the files here in the desktop in a folder. Okay. I have some images which I have clicked using my cell phone i have my channel's trailer video only and i have a music file okay let us select all and then click on open as you click on open all of these files will be brought to your project okay and then you have to drag and drop these files these objects onto your timeline remember as you are doing that always the top track means the content which will be on the screen always okay means if i bring something into the track number seven that is the top track means always that will be on the top and if i bring it anything in the track six or track five whenever the playback will happen that will be always in the background these are called layers okay we have the same concept in the photoshop also when we are doing photo editing we have multiple layers so each one of the track is actually a layer okay track 7 is the topmost layer and track 1 is the bottommost layer generally we keep the music files in the bottom layers because we do not want to show the music files on the screen okay we want it to be played it has to be heard okay 
and if we have any kind of uh, messages and all to be displayed normally we keep it on the top track videos we can keep in the second uh, number 5 or number 4 track okay that depends on the software which we are using okay this is my channel's trailer i have already edited this before suppose i i want to keep this loading screen okay till till this i want to keep okay this is the handle using which you can you know move it in the timeline okay and this red line you see this is the marker of the timeline and the current timing is displayed here so right now the marker is on top of 4 second okay so as you move left or right the preview will be displayed in the preview pane okay so suppose i want to keep the loading part means i want to keep this part okay and after that i want to you know uh, split the video so right click on this and you will get the slice option so it will ask you which side of the clip you want to keep left side or right side or both sides i want to keep both the sides so i'll click on this and then i can you know separate the remaining part of the video so my motive is that i want to show the loading screen first and after that i want to show some pictures okay one more thing the video clip which i am editing right now this trailer of my channel it already has audio in it so if i play you will be able to hear the audio yes the audio is clear but if you want to remove the audio from any video clip suppose you have uh, you know recorded a video clip using your mobile phone of some event or anything like that most probably you will want to remove the audio from it okay and insert some background music and give some voice over so simply you can do it in video editing software it is very easy just right click on the video clip and you will get the option of separate audio okay if you have recorded uh, in uh, stereo then you can you know remove both the channels left and right so normally we use this only or separately you can you know remove only the left channel or right channel i hope you are aware of stereo stereo means 2.1 channel so left channel and right channel so let us uh, remove all the audios okay so i'll just right click on that and use the first option now as you do that the audio of that clip is separated now now you can you know move it Uh, you know left or right if you want to adjust sometimes what happens no that uh, we have recorded a video but there is an audio lag so the audio is playing before the video or the audio is playing after the video then that time what we do is we take the video we put it in the timeline of the software and we just right click and you know separate the audio and then we adjust the audio this way we move it left or right so we can adjust and sync it according to the video now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use that audio file which i have you know imported in my project timeline so i can just uh, drag and drop onto the track number 5 or 4 okay keep the video always in the top track and if you have any kind of uh, text effects to be displayed you can then keep it there okay and this file is unnecessary let us remove it okay so now we have the video and we have the audio file now if i play it see okay this is the audio which i have inserted separately and that video which is there if you do the editing first and after that you adjust the timing then it will be difficult for you to uh, manage okay so better if you are going to adjust the timing so there is an ordering of things i suggest you first uh, insert the images okay first you insert the images and then you adjust the timing let me show you how to do see first i am inserting all the images in the order in which i want to adjust okay i want to keep in this order so i will just insert all the images in that order now after i have inserted all the images then the next thing that i will do before doing the editing is that to adjust the timing so i will select all the images at once and i will right click and i will set the timing from there i want to keep it like 2x so i will do after that i will rearrange the gap because as you have adjusted timing now there will be a gap that gap has to be adjusted so i will do the adjustment and then only i will also you know do the crossover effect and if you want to enlarge that if it is not clearly visible there is an option to uh, zoom you can also use the control and uh, scroller from your mouse so you can scroll to enlarge it or scroll back to you know shrink it the size of the elements in the timeline you can adjust like that so this way you keep it 
ओके टुगेदर लिटिल बिट देर हैज टू बी अ क्रॉस ओवर इन द मिडल ओके देन ऑनली दैट इफेक्ट विल बी यू नो ऑन द स्क्रीन दिस वे ओके वंस यू हैव डन इट देन यू कैन अगेन यूज द कंट्रोल की फ्रॉम योर की बोर्ड एंड यू कैन यूज द स्क्रॉलर टू अगेन यू नो श्रिंक इट द साइज ऑफ द एलिमेंट ऑन द स्क्रीन ना आफ्टर वी हैव एडजस्टेड नाउ इट विल लुक गुड फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग सी दिस इज द बिगिनिंग प्लेइंग that is the first image and then after that effect is there in every transition second image third fourth suppose i want to keep the video till this only a channel which teaches you so i can just you know click on this clip and i can right click and slice okay and i can use the uh, keep both sides or i if i want only the left side i can use this one okay so now i can remove this video this part i don't need so i can click on that and press the delete button now after uh, our clip is over at this point always remember your video will be running till the last element which is there in the timeline okay what i mean to say is if your video ends at this point and you still have audio file which is playing till this point till uh, 2 minutes and 13 seconds then your video when you will create it when you will produce the video then it where will be a black screen and this part of the video will be black these are some small details which has to be you know uh, taken care of first now this is the basics only let's uh, try to produce the video let's try to export so this option is there for exporting the video once you click on that it will ask you for the file name okay just give a file name i am writing here my first video okay and after uh, giving the name then it you have to select the folder path and then it will ask you for the profile which profile you are looking for it's a web web or device or dvd or blu ray uh, which uh, format you want to keep the extension of the file is it going to be a mp4 file or mkv file or if it if it is going to be flv file normally we keep it mp4 h.264 and resolution is there now the quality you have to decide low mid or high normally we keep it at high only and then we click on the export video now the video is being created you will see the progress on the screen how much time is left to make that video and what is the current fps at which it is getting recorded see i selected 30 fps but still it depends on the content that i am you know rendering creating the video from the timeline that is called video rendering so when we are rendering the video so what we have on the clip means what it is image file or if it is a video file what is the source suppose the source is only 24 fps then what is the point of making and converting it to 60 fps so accordingly the software decides that what fps should be you know used in that particular clip or that particular part of your video so that is why you are able to see the fps is you know not same now it is showing 30 because now we are converting the last part of the video and which is you know a video file only and the beginning it was image so that was showing 24 23 fps now it is completed now i am going to uh, play that video and let us see our first uh, video that we have created Okay that's all for this video thank you everyone for watching so in the next video of this series i'm going to discuss into more details about uh, transition effects and how to insert text on the video how to show captions and also about intro and exit effects